Yo, what's going on people? Guns blazing back at it again. Hope you're having a nice weekend. I'm back with that Ghost Trick deck. I played this deck around one or two months ago, but it didn't have all these new Ghost Trick cards that came out with Bonds. So I'm revisiting them, but uh, to be honest, the gameplay style is pretty much the same. The best way to go about it is still milling with a Ghost Trick Skeleton, which is the main Bajo of the deck. Basically what this guy does is every time he's flipped face up, you banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck face down equal to the number of Ghost Trick monsters you control. And obviously you can keep reusing that because you can keep flipping him face down and back face up. Notice that he also triggers when he's attacked while he's face down and it also pairs up well with Ghost Trick Scare which flips him face up. Now for the rest of the crew we got Ghoul and what this guy does is combine all the Ghost Tricks attack onto one card. Now Ghost Tricks weren't really meant for getting aggressive at least with the way that they are in Duel Links right now. And there's probably too much back row running around to make a consistent, aggressive Ghost Trick deck. But sometimes he does come through. You need to combine your Ghost Trick attack to, you know, destroy a monster on the field that's wreaking havoc on your Ghost Tricks. Something like that. Ghost Trick Mummy allows you to swarm the board by normal summoning another Ghost Trick monster in addition to your normal summoner set. So this pairs up well with your Ghost Trick Skeleton, so you can get three Ghost Tricks out on the field very quickly so that you can start milling three a turn from the top of their deck. Ghost Trick Yeti is a 2000 defense Ghost Trick and when he's flipped face up you can target one Ghost Trick monster in the field and that turn cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So this is pretty useful when you have, you know, a uh, Yeti and your skeleton out on the field face down and then you pair it up with Ghost Trick Scare so that you can use Ghost Trick Yeti's effect on your opponent's turn. And now we move on to the Lolly Duo. So first we got Ghost Trick Witch, and then next up we're uh, heading over to the Lolly Duo. Here's Ghost Trick Witch. So once per turn you can target one face of monster your opponent controls and change it to face down defense position. Now this could be useful on your turn if their defense is low and one of your Ghost Tricks can get over it. Or it could be useful on their turn when you pair it up with Ghost Trick Scare. And then last but not least we got the ultimate Ghost Trick Lolly, which is Ghost Trick Yukiona. I know she's Kawaii AF but I'm telling you guys, please do not loot for the lolly. If I see any waifu pillows, if I see this card art anywhere on your wallpaper, my bajos, I am banning you. You are banned. But anyways, what Yukiona does is when she's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you get a floodgate-like effect. So you change the monster that destroyed it into face down defense position. And if you do, that card cannot change battle position similar to floodgate. And then as for the back row, you got your faint plans because of course, Ghost Tricks spend a lot of time face down on their knees, ready to please their master, so Faint Plan will help protect them. You got Windstorm Curse, the full board protection, Ghost Trick Scare. I actually didn't have this card in my deck for a long time for some reason, and that's just an oversight on my part. But the usefulness of this card in, in this deck is just insane because, uh, as I already mentioned, it can flip Ghost Trick Skeleton to pop the effect, and it can protect your Ghost Tricks by flipping all of your opponent's monsters face down. Ghost Trick Break, this is another Bonds level up card. When you already have two Ghost Trick monsters in your graveyard and one face up Ghost Trick is destroyed, you can revive two Ghost Trick monsters from your grave with different names and special summon them face down. Which is pretty great value. And last but not least, you got Overhyped Trap Hole, which helps you, uh, you know, stall it out, piss your opponent off, and most importantly, protect your Ghost Tricks. Anyways, my boys, that's it from me. Have yourselves a good one, and this is Guns Blazing, signing out. Soggy the Dark Clown. Are you clowning around, dude? Are you clowning around? He got the heads. He ran quicker than Kevin Love with a dislocated shoulder. You're a savage, dude. Tails, please. What? This guy's a locker. Okay, we good. Not really. Sagi the Dark Memer. Mill versus Exodia feels bad, man. I mean, as long as we get a Ghost Trick Skeleton, we'll be good. Chanting fitting room, that's what it's all about, eh? Oh boy. Seal Master may say. What is this Bajo thinking? But I like his deck, it's actually pretty spicy. So what I can do is. 
Wait, wait, what the? Dude, this is crazy. No! Because now he can pick them up back from the grave. He's down to six! I didn't get to mill anything. No, what he most likely has is backup soldier. Dude, this is so heat! There's a backup soldier and there's Exodia, the forbidden one. You gotta prevent him from drawing that headpiece, baby. Holy moly. It's actually so over. It's actually so over, bro. Fucking. Wow. 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 When he p picks up his uh, backup soldier, it's actually game. It's actually just done. It's over. It's already over. It's I all over. I end my turn. <laughs> Ooh, you are so tilting me. Right, just end me, bro. Wait, no. I got this. I got this. I'm winning this one. I got this in the bag. There's no way I'm winning this one, but I'm gonna win this one. I'm winning this one, right? I'm winning. I'm winning. Wait, what happened? Did I win or lose? I won. I won. I make it home. Fitting room. Do I even have two of these yet? I don't think I do. I don't th I think my Chaz is only like level. I'm gonna set the money. Alright, so my game plan is to just burn them out. I mean, not burn them out, uh, mill them out. Forgot to change my skill. It's all good, though. Yukiona. Uh, I'm gonna wait until I get skeletons. I don't want to. I don't want to have two monsters out on the field because I might get lava golem. There's a skeleton. So I'm gonna flip this guy. Set this guy. Normal summon this boy. Hmm, should I even hit him? That's the question. I'll just put them all face down. My monsters effect. I activate my monsters effect.
Okay, no golem, please. Maybe I should have baited out the golem before I did this. No, nah, that's not a good play either, because that means I'll have max two ghost tricks on the board. And probably only one once I get my skeleton out. Let's just hope he doesn't have it. End phase, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That's three, and now officially he will deck out before I do. He will now officially deck out before your boy does. Bench three. Put him back down. I'm not even gonna like uh, pile them on and attack because he could have enchanted javelin, and so I won't one turn kill. It's not. It's not likely that that's gonna happen. Yeah, you try to lethal through this back row. Tell me how that works out for you. Face a Yami Yugi. That obviously has Destiny Draw with three back row. And see if he doesn't have an enchanted javelin or a draining shield. Be my guest. Be my guest. Going for direct attacks on burned decks is... Not your win condition. Okay, so he has to get aggressive with it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna econ. I'm gonna save my econ so that I could sack off Lava Golem. I don't care about 600 damage. Yeah, I, th I think restart is better, but I just wanted to try with Wasteland. Phoenix will wreck your deck, my boy! Alright, let's get it popping. I'm gonna set Floodgate next turn, too. So, another option I have is to Floodgate the Lava Golem. But I think I have this one in the bag. I think I have this one in the Baggio. What can replace Floodgate Trap Hole for Ghost Trick decks? I don't know, get creative with it. Creative with it like Creativity Timothy. Oh guns, you're not going for the direct attack lethal again! You have lethal on board! It's not like you're gonna pop his Destiny Jar or anything! Even though you have guaranteed win by milling, you should risk your win con by going for the direct attack! You don't take guns! Alright, yeah, let's set this floodgate. And before straight flushed. <laughs> Yes, guy star race back, homie. Dude, he's actually so huge. That's a person in his hand. Amazon is swordswoman. Gonna try to get aggro on me, my boy. Ain't plan. I decided not to floodgate this. So I'm gonna take 600. That's okay. That's all good. Yeah, I'm gonna take guns, you kill my eardrums. If it ain't killing your eardrums, it ain't guns blazing. Man, I love tilting the burn decks. Did this, did this guy not pick up a lava golem? Is that what happened here? Oh yeah, because I didn't attack into his enchanted javelin back row and trigger his destiny draw. I didn't greed for lethal like an animal. That's probably what's gonna win me the game. But nah. 
Oh, guns, but you missed lethal, though. That's another three. Pay up, my boy. Pay up, Amelia. Pay up! Three! Milling is killing. That's, not, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to attack with Ghost Tricks to win. Don't greed for the lethal. Don't loot for the lolly. You see this lolly? Don't loot for her! Yeah, Lava Golem was probably milled. <laughs> no, really? There's half the deck in his banish pile, bro! Woo! 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 No cards in the graveyard, all in the Banish pile. Time to Watch him have Rising Energy. Two Rising Energies. That would be a sick name. And that's why I'm gonna Econ take. Wait, why? Why would I Econ take? No, no, no. I'm not gonna Econ take, never mind. I'm gonna econ his Amazon Swords one. There's no way he's running two rising energies, right? Uh, Alright, that's game. He scoops. The inevitable scoop. Don't loot for the lolly, baby. Two lava golems. Probably milled out. Enchanted Javelin. I called it like I saw it. Hello? Hello? And he has Rainbow Life, Aegis of Gaia, Wall of Disruption, but- Oh, guns, you had lethal! Through Massive Morph and Enchanted Javelin and Aegis of Gaia! You had lethal, though, guns! There's no way you didn't! Oh! Alright, so I recorded this bad boy off stream because I was so tilted by the fact that I didn't use Ghost Trick Scare on my stream videos, and so I'm using it for this video. And also because I wanted to get the lolly some more airtime. So that's what I do. I go ahead and set her on her knees and protect her with the triple back rope. Go ahead and set that curse, guns. Thank you. And so once he flips his monster, I know what he's all about. Turns out this guy is running that, uh, that Exodia deck that we saw in the first duel. And I know this because that's a normal spellcaster type monster. So I go ahead and floodgate it because he can use either Wonder Wand or White Elephant's Gift on it. And he's probably also running Enchanting Fitting Room. Now, unfortunately for me, he does have a second normal monster available. And I have the Ghost Trick Scare just in case he plays his Wonder Wand. And so I'm waiting for that. But it turns out he doesn't use Wonder Wand. Instead, he uses White Elephant's Gift. Not a big deal. He still has 18 cards to go through. And Ghost Trick Scare will, uh, will buy me some time as well. Now... The key card that I need to win this matchup is Ghost Trick Skeleton, and he comes through right here, right now. And as you can see, Ghost Trick Mummy, you can't set it unless a Ghost Trick is face up, and so I flip up Yukiono first, so I can summon the Mummy. And uh, I actually misplayed by uh, flipping Yukiona face down here, and you'll see why in a bit. Ghost Trick Skeleton, I can't set, I can only normal summon, because Ghost Trick Mummy only allows extra normal summons. And so I summon him and I flip him face down. But the reason I shouldn't have uh, flipped Yukiona face down is because I could have gotten two attacks in, so I could have attacked with Yukiona, and then hit him in the face with my mummy. But I'm thinking, you know, I don't really need to hit his life points to win the game because I'm probably going to mill out Exodia pieces. But still, it's a misplay, and I'm going to call it like I see it, and I pop the scare here. This allows me to flip his monster face down so that he can't use White Elephant's Gift. He can't use Wonder Wand on it. And also, this allows me to mill three out with a Ghost Trick Skeleton, as you'll as you'll be able to see right here. So once they flip all face up, uh, Ghost Trick Skeleton pops. So it doesn't matter what order you flip uh, the monsters face up. And so that's three cards gone, potentially an Exodia piece. He actually doesn't know because they're banished face down. 
And so that's a, that's a little nice treat for me, that he doesn't get to scoop as soon as he sees an Exodia piece is gone from his deck. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reflip the Ghost Trick Skeleton. That's another three for my turn. This is brutal. He's probably already lost the game. But at this point, you know, Yabajo is just going to go aggressive. I should have just switched this in attack mode to save time. And I'm going to go for three attacks. There's that lolly. Please don't loot for her. Go Shrek Mummy to the face for 17. And at this point, you know, it's pretty hard for him to come back. I do have another Floodgate set down. And so, yeah, his whole strategy is pretty much, it's done. Because the Floodgate just, you know, prevents him from getting anything going. No, no, uh, what's it called? No Wonder Wands, no White Elephant's Gifts. And so that's an easy scoop arena. Okay, Faint up. It's gonna protect me. Ghost Trick Skeleton. That's exactly what I want to see. This is the orig this is the OG trio. This is the big three. This is Scotty, MJ, and Rodman right here. The big Tragio. So, um, I actually do want to attack here. Ghost Trick Ghoul. Who should I pile him on to? I'll pile him on to Ghost Trick Mummy. Because his effect is the least useful now. Then after that, I can just, uh, I can flip these down because they can't attack. The only thing I really fear now is... Mirror wall. Let's battle. Let's do this. Wade, Braun, and Bosch. That's an outdated big three, bro. That's old news. There's no way you have more power than me, Lou. You're not even active on the Discord, you know? You're not even close to being active on the Discord. Oh, Periton. I actually don't mind that you get that popping, bro. Because you mill out your own deck. Of course, once again, I don't have Floodgates when I'm facing Hazy. How would I know, dude? How would I know it would be like this? Mill out with the hazy, I dare you. Yes! That's my win con, not yours. Oh, he called an incorrect card? Does that ever happen? Alright, I'll faint plan. Uh, my ghoul, my mummy will die, but my skeleton, my, my skeleton will live. And hopefully I pick up either curse, um, windstorm, or... Big plan. Yeah. 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 So, this is gonna be the order. And I'm not combining this turn because Beast Rising and. Yeah, Beast Rising, which I think he has, it's gonna cuck me. His modded is. His APK is not modded. I repeat, his APK is not modded. His AP Kajo has not been modified. Three more. There you go. I'm not sure you want to get more popping with your hazy flame, baby. I don't think that's a good idea for you. Actually, maybe I... No, I can't. I can't flip the face down because I can't target. Hazies cannot be targeted. Gonna flip all these. Then uh, Curse of Anubis protected. And that's gonna. So it's guaranteed he's gonna be six and then three and then two. 
I think we can survive for that many turns. No, it's Beast and Beast Warrior. The only Pyro is Harry Ton. Cerberius, really? Really? You're gonna go with that guy? Hmm. Don't loot for that lolly, bro. Don't loot for that lolly. Don't you dare do it. Okay. Another protection card, please! Crap. It's not looking good for me now. Hmm, should I keep Ghoul face up? Just in case he misplays. And so I can go for an attack on one of them. I don't think that's worth it though. I'm just gonna hope for the best. I'm just gonna hope for the back row pickups to come through for me. Turn. Are you kidding me? Why would you pop that? What? Do you have a brain? Do you have a brain? Calm down, guns. Calm down. Oh, I have such a perfect way to cut this guy. And it's just... Keep one monster. Protect it. And just keep flipping that one one, that one ghost trick. Plays around the lava. It's just so beast, dude. This plan. This plan, though. Temple of the Mines. Ah. I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to summon one of his uh, direct attackers now. Hell no. Hell no. Wait, I didn't change characters? I'm so tilted. Let's revert this. Let's revert this screen. I'm such an animal. Don't loot for the lolly, bro. I activate my monster's effect. <laughs> I activate my I'm such a little cuck. Okay. Yeah, we got this. My turn. I draw a card. I set a card. <laughs> Please use Spirit Barrier. I already tried that deck. I don't think it's worth it. Look at this play around, man. This deck can't win against me. It just can't. And it's the same guy, by the way. It's the same. It's the exact same duelist. Milling one card at a time. That's all I need to mill at a time. And the thing is, I could potentially be taking out his key win conditions, which are his Amazon, his Chain Master, and his direct attackers. It's just insane, dude. There's nothing he can do. I activate my monster's effect. Yuki the red nose lolly had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. Don't you dare loot for this lolly. 
You'll have a very bad day. Never loot for the lollies. Or my skeleton will make you pay. Oh boy, what an interesting matchup, eh? Do not insult the lolly. Thanks for the bits, bro. Thanks for the bits. I hate this game, Zero. I can't really say, you know. I can't say I disagree with that name. He's gonna massive warp my ghost trick. For what reason, my Bajo? For why? You will go straight to jail. That's what I'm saying. If you loot for the lolly, you will go straight to jail. But did you know that there's a... That there's legal lollies out there? Some lollies are actually legal, my boy. Some lollies are actually of legal age. Like, if you've seen Zoe from League of Legends, new re newly released champ, that's a legal lolly r right there. She's around 300 years old, but she's still a lolly. Actually, don't quote me on that. I don't know the exact lore. Lou, shut up. You, you don't know anything about lollies, my boy. Some lollies do have the archetype of legal lolly, baby. You don't know about it. Okay, this guy scoops. Spoken inside.